Good morning, everyone. Once again, West Texas Wild right here. We are with Dr. Ray Matlack from West Texas A&M University, and it's going to be talking about a kind of a creepy critter <laughs> here today. What yeah. are we talking about? Uh, this is a, it goes by a number of names around here. Um, Texas Giant Centipede, Texas Redheaded Centipede, just the Giant Centipede, and sometimes Desert Centipede. Um, these are our biggest centipede. They get up eight or so inches. Um, the one that we filmed here, we filmed two. There you'll see one in a tree that was feeding on an insect. And the, the one that's running around on the ground was, pro, was about eight inches. We measured it with our video camera and everything. Um, amazing animals. Uh, they're very brightly colored. You can see that. They wave their head around quite a bit, that red head, when they're disturbed. And there's probably two reasons for that. One is that they're using their antennae to, to sense their environment. But the other is it really accentuates that, that warning coloration. That bright color basically means, leave me alone, I can be dangerous. And so a lot of people ask about how dangerous these centipedes are. And um, if you get envenomated by one, what will happen basically is you'll get some, some localized pain and swelling. Um, the accounts I read said lasts for 15 minutes or so. Um, if I would get envenomated by one, there'd be screaming followed by me fainting. Um, but for the most part, <laughs> that doesn't happen. You know, um, These things are intimidating. There's just something about them. When you see them, you know that, that they're intimidating. Now, the, the back end of this thing, you'll see some brightly colored um, appendages. Those are actually legs. A lot of people think they're stingers, um, but they're not. Uh, so that's something about these. Very widespread animal um, throughout most of Texas, the central part of the state at least, um, and then um, all the way to Arkansas and all the way to Arizona, up to Kansas and south into Mexico. So very successful. And they're, they're all predators, not like millipedes. Um, another thing about centipedes, the difference between those and millipedes, one leg per segment, whereas millipedes have two. So. Oh, very interesting. All right. Neat, well, I know neat, I've seen some of those critters. Yeah. around here, and I tend to go the other way. Uh, yeah, myself, yeah. So. Um, I'd rather mess with a rattlesnake, to be honest, but I'm not suggesting that. But um, <laughs> I'm more afraid of them than, than I would be a rattlesnake. All right. <laughs> so once again, great information. This has been West Texas Wild. We'll see you next week. Thanks. All right.